So I thought I'd make a different kind of video. You know, they got these nice fields here in Lynchburg, but I don't see anybody playing on them. Now I was gonna show you the tennis courts. There are actually two people on the tennis courts. I mean, it's a whole different city than what I grew up in. And I tell you what, this uh, disc golf, I guess, or or frisbee golf, or whichever way you want to look at it, it has hit the, hit the vein here in Lynchburg. Everybody's playing it because the frisbee golf course is completely full. But the thing that baffles me, the baseball fields are empty. The soccer fields are empty. The basketball courts are empty. The tennis courts, you know, there's two people there, but I mean, most of the time when I come here for just to get a workout, they're empty. In case you're wondering, I'm back at Peaks View Park. I'm gonna get a picture of my dad's sign and I'm hoping to get some hiking in the woods, but the daylight's getting away from me. I was, I was a little bit beat up after hiking the Appalachian Trail yesterday. So I just thought I'd come over here and just try to get a little bit of exercise, make a quick video, but just wanted to give you my observation. You know, it's a different world we live in, people. I mean, I can't believe, you know, we don't see people playing baseball. We don't see people playing basketball. Hell, we don't even see people playing, you know, flag football or touch football. But disc golf, it's uh, it's everywhere. I mean, uh, our youth, uh, that's, that seems to be the most popular thing. In the, and it is in Florida, too. It's very popular there. But I'm just surprised that every time I come here, I don't see anybody doing these things. Uh, or people, you know, I guess the new sport is also walking your dog. But anyway, let's, uh, let's just tack on to the video here in just a second. So this is this is what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at it through the fence here. I mean, my job in the rec department is to mark these ball fields. I mean, this isn't even marked. That means they're not even playing baseball. Now I understand it's kind of late in the season, but look over there. Nobody on that baseball field. You know, no parents out just teaching the kids how to bat. But if you look over here, the people on the uh, on the disc golf course. So uh, you know, nobody out playing flag football or nothing. And this is, you know, you say, well, it didn't, that's just today. Well, I'm here quite often because, you know, it's it's really close to my house, and uh, it's a quick uh, quick workout for me. And, that, and they do have the um, the outdoor um, uh, stations where I can do push-ups and uh, stretch and all of that stuff if if I'm so inclined, or try to do pull-ups. Can't do pull. <laughs> I just sit there and try to get my toes off the ground. But uh, so anyway, let's get over and get my dad's plaque. But I, just an observation. Tell me what you th what you see below, because uh, everywhere I go now, I don't see kids out playing football or baseball or basketball. You know, uh, even tennis for that matter. Um, but frisbee golf is, uh, is here's some some more people right up here. I don't know if you catch catching them. A whole bunch of them playing playing disc golf and they're walking on down. You know, but I do see a lot of that. And there are two people over here. I guess those are lacrosse sticks. I guess, you know, trying that. Okay, let's keep going. There we go, is that in the light area? So in honor of William P. Ellis Jr., Director of Civic Enrichment Department, 1970 to 1977, his vision and guidance brought this beautiful park into existence. So this is his only tribute in Lynchburg. Nobody remembers him. But uh, it is a beautiful park, and <clears throat> let's uh, let's just get. Oh man, I try to stand up. That's at the bottom. <laughs> so the only tribute to my father is at the bottom of a flagpole with no flag on it, <laughs> on the back of it, so that when you come into the parking lot, you know you probably wouldn't even know to walk up over here and look at that. But uh, oh well, I guess it's better than nothing. And uh, you can see nobody playing baseball here. Do have some people in the uh, playground. That's good. And this water fountain works, the other one doesn't. So that is, that's good, at least one water fountain works. Not very well. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's get going on the hike. So even the rec department is woke here in Lynchburg. Please do hug the trees. Can't imagine. Oh well. It's part of the woke world. But I did want to show you this. I mean, look at this, it's a perfect day. Absolutely perfect day. Nobody on the basketball courts. And those are damn nice basketball courts because they redid them last year or maybe the year before, I don't remember, but fairly recently. And that's a real nice surface to shoot on. 
you know you can see the nets are intact you know and uh you know the nice thing you know some basketball courts when the ball when you when it goes out you know you it goes a long ways away here's the part of the stations that i like that's that's the log hop can't can't do that <laughs> but anyway so we'll, i'll wait till i'm on the trails to get another video this is a nice touch you know you can do pull-ups here and a lot of times i get on that bench and do some leg raises pretty cool see here once again you know soccer field baseball field not a mark on it probably hasn't been used in a month or two because usually those lime uh, marks uh, they'll hold up for a little while you know but uh hasn't been marked another soccer field over here nobody on it um anyway now there's a you know one, one thing i would say i don't understand why more cities don't put in these uh, obstacle courses you know right up here is another place for doing setups uh and i've certainly used that from time to time so it is nice, you know, I much prefer being outside rather than going in a gym, you know, especially with COVID running rampant, you know, I've had it, but who knows whether you can get it again. I mean, every day we hear something new, but I'm just, you know, just leave me your comments. What is it, you know, why do I see nobody here, you know, doing anything on a perfect day, you know, and this is in the evening when everybody's home, you know, so the kids are out of school, right? Parents are home from work, you know, man, I tell you, we, we used to play till dark and nobody here. And this is in the middle of a big neighborhood. I mean, there's a lot of people that live right, right near this park. And this, this field is in perfect shape. You can tell it, it's not even tore up. That indicates to me that it hasn't been used in a while. I mean, they're maintaining it. That's, that's good. Well, here, got somebody coming. Thought I'd get this on the video while the lighting is quite good. And the leaves are turning it's a beautiful beautiful scene you know one thing that my dad was unable to accomplish and i'm, I'm kind of glad about it you know is uh he was going to take all these woods out and develop it into a nine hole golf course uh, of course back in the 70s and 80s you know golf was uh hugely popular and uh but this the um city uh well I, I can't remember the guy that's above my father is the recreation director the city uh whatever the city council leaders called uh he he overruled my father and said no we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna build a golf course he uh he was a big swimming fan so they put in an olympic sized pool and uh man that's gotten a lot of use and so it was a good use of the uh the taxpayers money um so i can just remember his name and i don't want to say his name but uh anyway so uh so they turned this into um and that's where we're heading right now because it's probably going to be a muddy mess but i'm gonna give it a try they turn this into uh, hiking and biking trails and uh, i much prefer you know hiking and biking uh not so much biking on mountain biking you know although i do want to get back into it but uh i much prefer that to playing golf so i'm kind of glad dad wasn't successful getting the, the golf course put in um and it would have been a pretty rough um, use of the uh, taxpayers money so this is the trail I'm gonna go up but I did want to just show you the trail system here real quick so if you ever in Lynchburg so we are we're right there okay and you can see you know the trail goes all the way up well this is the paved trail right here and then these are the the, the, the dotted lines here are the biking trails and you can see it just kind of roams all through the uh, the woods here so you could hike around quite quite some time here at Peaks View Park. Um, it's uh, you know, so I'm just going to go up into the woods and uh, get some trails in. You know, one of the things that I do. Hey, look at here. This is different. I didn't see this one before. Oh yeah, yeah, I've done this. This is more the. Uh, that's a nature trail, but that's uh, more for the frisbee golfers uh, rather than, than for the hikers. So let's get up on a trail, and uh, I'm losing my light probably get dark on me in the woods once again don't have a headlamp but you know you can find your way usually out pretty quickly and uh it's not too muddy i'll have to clean the shoes before i get in mom's house and she's uh well anyway <clears throat> so because it is late i'm just going to stay to the right which will keep me fairly close to the paved trail so that if it gets dark on me i can get out but you can see you know if you if you go to the left these trails wind all through here 
I always love how they name the trails. That's, that's the Grapevine Trail. I've hiked that. And then you here you got the uh, Slick Rock. That's where we're heading. And uh, so let's uh, let's just keep it keep it close to the bike path so that I can get out of the woods. But this is kind of what it looks like. You know, isn't this beautiful? What a what a natural resource for Lynchburg, Virginia, that they have. You know, keeping keeping this forested and uh, and just cutting trails in here. You know, it's uh, and especially you know if you're a mountain biker. I mean, this is a quite a challenge getting back in here. Uh, I couldn't do it. Maybe even when I was young, I could have. I mean, I did do some crazy trails when I was at Battle Creek, but uh, you kind of just kind of see the trail um, winding around. And it's beautiful out here. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's it. If I see anything interesting, I'll tack on. But this video is long enough. So uh, peace out. Be free. You know, I'll do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom, good to be from the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no jabs, no mandates, no lockdowns, no masks, because we're free to come and do as we please. And if you're a Democrat, go to New York, you'll be welcome there. Go to California, but don't come to Florida. Peace out. You know, I realize that I yammer too much. I'm just going to be quiet. Let you enjoy a little bit of the hike. There you go. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Well, I'm sure you'd rather be here than anywhere else in the world. I'm sure, sure am loving it. Perfect weather, perfect weather. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? Isn't this, isn't this gorgeous the way they cut this in and the way it winds around? All right, that's it, I promise. I don't think there's gonna be anything more to really show you on the on the video or anything unique anyway you know one thing i am going to look into i assume these walnuts are edible you know i'm I, i'm like just a city slicker i always just buy them at the store but i'm seeing walnuts everywhere i go i'm gonna get on youtube or not on you but on youtube maybe or on a channel and try to figure out how you you know gather up or what what walnuts to look for do you want the dark ones do you want the green ones you know uh what does it take to shell them you know isn't that sad i don't even know how to do that so here you go we got something over here oh it's just a squirrel i think let's see no that's a deer holy moly boy did i start filming at the right time hopefully you're seeing him he's looking at me at least just a young guy can you see him he's right in there in the trees i got his head I'll try to get a little closer. Let's see if he, he spooks. Can you see him? There he goes. Let's see if we get him going across the trail. I'm gonna go. Let's go see him where he went. And I don't see him no more. Well, that was cool. Man, I, I thought, usually when I hear something, it's usually a squirrel, you know? <clears throat> but that was cool. Boy, he's gone. I, they're quick, man. Magnificent animals. Magnificent animals. So you see what I mean? You could really hike around back here. Now there's no sign, but I, like I said, I want to stay to the right, so I'm close to the paved path. I assume this is a trail. I don't know. It's a little bit, a little bit narrow, but uh, it'd be easy to spend the whole day back here just hiking around. You know, but uh, I just wanted to show you that fork there. There's some more, some more walnuts. So, uh, yep, gotta figure figure that out. Maybe, maybe, oh here, this is just going back to the bike path. All right, so let's go take that other fork.